Hello viewers and subscriber welcome once again to my new screencast <clears throat> uh, today this is the new screencast it will be the multi part uh, screencast it it is the continuation of the previous screencast uh, from from 31 to 36 and this is the screencast uh, i try to 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 consume the my deployed restful apis or web services with uh, with respective um, uh, GUI framework, I mean that I try to develop, uh, or or I try to call, or I try to consume the our released uh, RESTful APIs to the to the to the to the to to, the, to the any any of the uh, any of the GUI or, or UI frameworks. So if you see here, is the consuming RESTful API web services yeah, with any uh, GUI frameworks like uh, Themelif or Grails or GSP or Angular JS or even though in RESTful JS or any 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 GUI based GUI development frameworks. So that means we try to build uh, our web pages or our web applications to based on our release API. So what we did, we we have uh, we would release our 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 RESTful APIs as an executable jar, and now I, we try to consume those APIs to produce uh, any and to produce those web pages. So the, if you see here the next picture, so uh, now we try to con uh, we we have we already released those uh, APIs, the um, the UV subgroup template programming and jar files, executable jar files. If you if you close look in the last screencast uh, in 30, uh, 30, 30 dot six and then you can see that the release versions and then we try to come uh, try to consume those APIs from the the Spring Boot uh, theme lip engine uh, template engine engine so so that means we need to something like to do to, to to write in 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 HTML code and or CSS code or, or somehow to uh, to configure uh, how can we call the, our our services so this is the the flow diagrams how we can you you can integrate the you release uh, any restful apis or any services to the to the your web development frameworks so basically this is the part of the the web developer jobs to so he or she can do do the web development if you are the in the backend developer or or api developer then your job is this part so that means you release your apis and you you publish your apis or deploy your apis anywhere and the web developer can communicate and can consume those apis and build their web pages so you see that the, there's a, there's many uh, client apis to consume restful apis or web services uh, for us is we we released our apis and this is the the ways url for for calling the restful apis and here's the, the little lot of the down level apis restful uh, rest template apis uh, with this api you can do uh, all HTAP, http process of operations like get post put and delete and there's a there's many apis like uh, http web request and response api web client api http client APIs and REST Sharp APIs and there is a JAX RS client APIs and service stack APIs. So this is the all the APIs uh, when you try to uh, consume or, or to call the you released uh, API or web services then you should go this way in, in this uh, if you are in the in Java technology. So that means uh, the, 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 all the APIs that has own 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 specifications so for for my presentation uh, for for my case normally i try to use the restful template apis to call the rest services um, or web services and uh, i found it's really good uh, good tools or good apis to to calling the restful services other things is other other apis is still good but depending your your project requirements or your uh, project specifications but i found this the rest template is really good for the communication between the between the your rest services and your web applications 
so you see here is the uh, the some some abstract information uh, how the available spin view technologies i mean uh, the you gui or ui te templating that means uh, spring boot provide a lot of a um, lot of the templating engines like thimble that's what what i would like to use for my web developments and fee marker and muscas and groovy templates and gsp and grails so you, you already know that gsp is the most popular template engine nowadays it is really older and is the, the in another most popular template engines like grails it is a complete frameworks but is really popular nowadays it's getting popular because it is based on the java and groovy and grails and it has a lot of functionalities then that means that nowadays there's a lot of even though you can you can you can call any 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 javascript based template engine or java based template uh, UI templates or UI frameworks, then it, it can use easily. If you are not the Java based developer, if you are then the JavaScript web developer in web part, then you can go the, this way. So here is the the major annotation that we I would like to use my project developments like the Spring Boot uh, application annotation. This is do all things automatically. That's the auto configuration, configuration job, reading the your properties, configuration files, and all all of things is done by these annotations. So auto where you inject your bin and you call, you define your repository and controller to define your controller. Uh, controller means here is the MBC a Spring Boot MBC model view controller. This one and then you define your services and the value means you try to read. Uh, the properties uh, from the application dot properties files. This is the most important one, and this is the your request mapping, your URL mapping, and this is the request parameters. And that means you you search something with the with the form, the HTML form, and set the parameters in the request parameters. And there is a client test um, from basically in the in the professional day we we just call the REST REST API and and try to check is it REST by in in working in in, in the console side that means i mean the real console results so we see it after is it is test is done then we pu push it like in the in the web page in call the in the time leap or any template engines and to produce the, those web spaces so here you see that the, our pro, the the project structure that's where I try to to, to develop those uh, these projects uh, with with next screencast. You see that that project structure like I have like the configuration con control model and service service input and then there is the message and the static and this is the, all the template or the HTML files and this is the the main one so to call the your REST APIs uh, to set this this properties and then this property has to be handled externally or you mean I mean the, the the spring boot profiling concept so i i will show you detail in the when when i did the development and till the release and 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 run the java web application you can see it so here is the the one of the outputs so we have this the local host deployed and we have web application there is a there is a six, eight nine links and then after you click these links and you see the the is calling the our rest services and produce those web pages and this is this is the it's just too easy this is simply some html and you need to some configure something with the spring boot applications that's that's the so for this case, you don't need to any database to backend because you are just consuming the web services, and this web service is, is running in other machines, and then another machine has the own databases, and you calling the web service, the data is coming from the other machine. So this this application for the for the web application, you don't need to set any any special database. And thank you. And uh, let's say uh, we 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 try to produce the the development part and try to release it and deploy it our web applications. And uh, please please follow the the previous screencast and the next screencast. And I will try to produce and give you give you the give you the the possibility and. Uh, to how we can you can communicate the REST services to the to the any web GUI or any web frameworks or any, I mean that web templating engine. Uh, for our case, is is template theme, theme lib, and you can use different one.
so let's let's follow the next screencast and we will double up those 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 the, the, the those web applications and configuration and deployment and 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 and, and please do the thank you and please do the, the your your if you have any questions please leave the command below in the in my channel i will try to answer uh, those uh, those questions thank you but goodbye goodbye